here with his latest children's book, Love the Earth. Please welcome back best-selling author Julian Lennon. Welcome yes, back, Julian. Welcome. Thank you very much. It's an absolute honor to have you. We're Absolutely. so happy you're here, as are many people uh, here and around the, uh, the house. So thank you for coming <laughs> back. Uh, this is your third book, uh, the yes. beautiful book in a, in a obviously Earth-conscious trilogy that you yeah. put out there in the first two Really, kind of children learn how to get involved and care for the planet. So where does this third installment take us? Well, I mean, I, I think all three books are the same kind of story in many respects. They just expand a little bit from, from the first to the third. Um, you know, it's all about bringing that conversation about the world in which kids are going to, you know, grow up into. Yeah. Right. Uh, that... Uh, uh, when they're reading about, um, you know, uh, plastic in the oceans or why people on that side of the planet don't have clean water, you know, it's about the parents and, and the kids going, well, why is that the case? You know, right. why is this happening? And through that, mm -hmm. you know, they discover all kinds of uh, answers, obviously. It's so important. Beautiful. My daughter loves to read, and she takes in so much from these books That's she's reading. Point, so thank Alex. you so much for doing this. I mean, in this book, the children travel on this white feather airplane. Yes. And this airplane actually comes from a message that you got from your, your father, John yeah. Lennon. Yeah. I was on tour in Australia about 20-plus years ago. Yeah. And uh, I was invited down to the lobby of the hotel I was staying in by the management who said, excuse me, do you have uh, an Aboriginal tribe here called the Murning People? and uh, news crews, and they'd like to see you, please. And I said, what about, you know? He said, they, they, they have a me they want to see you, they have a message. So I went downstairs. The elder, who was a female elder, gave me a white feather, mm. large white feather. Mm -hmm. Now, it's a precursor that when I was a kid, Dad said to me that if anything was going to happen to him, uh, the way that he would let me know... That, I, uh, that either he was going to be all right or that we were all going to be all right would, would be in the form of a white feather. It's incredible. So when that happened from one of the oldest indigenous tribes in the world, uh, that gave me goosebumps. I Absolutely. mean, that, that was, for me, that was undeniable. I mean, I'm not religious, but I'm spiritual. I've definitely that, got goosebumps that right was, I know, so do I. I mean, Debbie says that all the time, too, so, but I have that. So I, so I spent 10 years making a documentary about them uh, and their plight and then learning about or the other indigenous tribes in the world that have the same problem. I thought, well, you know, if anything, if, if, if the film makes anything, I want to put the money in to give, the, give it back to the tribes so that they can continue their legacy and their culture moving forward. And uh, one, one thing led to another, and then once, uh, once the foundation was, uh, was in place, so to speak, uh, that's when we started receiving a lot more you know, well, can you help us, please? Yeah. You know, how yeah. about us? You know, right, I right. bet. Well, wait a second, I'm not really a foundation, but one thing led to another, and now we deal with a whole host of uh, uh, issues around the world. And the, fe uh, the foundation that you speak of is the White Feather Foundation, obviously named appropriately. Yes, indeed. And, and also, to your point, kind of uh, was inspired in many ways uh, by your award-winning film, a whale dreamers. It took whale dreamers, yeah. ten years, I believe, to put this documentary. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about this amazing documentary. Well, again, again, it was it was all about uh, this tribe's history, yeah. what they'd been through. They, how they'd been thrown off their lands. The government had had uh, destroyed their livelihood and where they came from, and. Um, uh, it, again, it was about them and all indigenous tribes around the, glo around the globe. And that's why White Feather was set up. But that's why we took the theme of, of, the, uh, of the, the feather for the children's books. Mm -hmm. Because we wanted to uh, carry across the same um, sentimentality, the same beliefs, the same passions from the website and bring that into the children's books so that they, they could understand the relationship. It's really incredible, all of this amazing work that you're doing. And you know, you're a musician, you're an author. Apparently. You're, you're, <laughs> you're a hugely talented photographer as well. I mean, you're really a renaissance man. You can do it all. Thank you. And I you've try. said that you see the world differently, maybe, than other people. Yeah. What, what are you looking for when you have your camera and you're about to take that photo? Because we've seen your photos. They are yeah. insanely Stunning. beautiful. Well, that's very kind. Really uh, I, I'm, I'm very much a fly on the wall. Uh, um, it's all about... Capturing a moment that is relatable to wow. a lot of people. Wow, look at these photos. Uh, many, many of them uh, came about because, uh, especially being on the road, 
you realize that a lot of people can't afford to travel and or they're too sick to travel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this was uh, one way of, you know, sort of showing people the rest of the world that sometimes you don't get to see. Mm -hmm. um, but again, all tied in with the White Feather Found journey on, uh, you know, those images were taken whilst I was in Ethiopia, you know, with uh, different organizations getting clean water and the list goes on. Do you, you have to go to the website. Yeah, you got to go to the website, figure it out, and we'll tell yeah, people yeah. how to do There's that. There's never enough time. Do you bring your camera with you all the time, or do you just kind of go out 99, with the intention? 99, no, it's with me at all times. And so, so. if you see something, that's the yeah, moment. It's always Beautiful. spare of the moment. I've it looks a, like that. Not a clue what I'm doing. I just, well, it's, it's, you When know. you see it, you know. Yeah. You take out yeah. that camera. Exactly. Very cool. Thank you so much for yes. uh, doing what you do Thank and you. sharing all of this with us and, and for being here today. My absolute it's pleasure. Pretty amazing. So Thank you very much. Thank Love you. the Earth is available wherever books are sold and you can get more information about Julian's projects on his website.